Hello, this is Abdul Mati Asir. I would like to welcome you to another Boeing 737 video tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about the approach, setup, and briefing in the simulator training. And for this example, we'll be using Moses Lake Airport VOR 114 left approach, circle to land runway uh, 3 to right. Our clearance for now is to descend 4000 and hold over Echo Papa Hotel, which is the final approach uh, fix. So we'll be holding over Echo Papa Hotel at 4000, report ready for the approach. So what I do personally is after we transfer the controls, I'll both set up and brief the approach at the same time. So the first step is to load the approach. Unfortunately, I don't have the exact approach here in my database. So we'll go with a similar approach. Now again, before you uh, execute or even confirm, just take a look in the legs page and see what you have. So we'll clean up the legs page since we are proceeding already and we'll be holding over the final approach fix. I'm going to move the final approach fix as well here. And now what I will do is uh, take a quick look at what do I have here in the legs page as far as the sequence of the waypoints, the altitudes, and going all the way to the missed approach altitude. Just a quick look to make sure that I have loaded the uh, correct approach. So just a quick comparison between the altitudes, as I said, and the sequence of the points. So we have Echo Papa Hotel and then Gabi and then the runway. For the missed approach altitude, we have a left turn 4000 to the radial and then to hold over button. And here we have the final approach fix 4000, Gabi, the runway. And then we have the hold over button. So once I do that, then I'll confirm with the other pilot. So confirm a VR1 for left loaded. As soon as he say confirm, then we'll execute. And then we'll start the uh, briefing at the setup at the same time. So we'll go to the uh, VR1 approach chart and Jeppesen on the first line here will start from right to left. So Moses Lake, VR1, runway 1 for left. Chart 13-2, 29 December 2017. Now it's important for the pilot monitoring to check the chart number and the date to make sure that you are both looking at the correct chart. Now for the communication line, I'll skip that for both the real life and the simulator training since this is going to be a pilot monitoring area of responsibility anyways. And then we'll go to the second line here. So we have VOR Echo Papa Hotel 112.6. And now we'll go ahead and set up the frequency 112.6. If the right seat is going to do the approach, and you are doing the briefing, just take a quick glance on the left side and make sure that the other pilot have already set the frequency. If it is not set, just a gentle reminder by saying, for example, 112.6 set in my side, that will be a hint to the other pilot to uh, set the frequency. So in this case, it's already set. So we'll go back to the approach chart. Final approach course 135. So we'll go to the MCP and we'll set 135. Again, quick glance at the other side, 135. You don't have to say it twice, but just a quick glance, just to make sure that it's set. Minimum altitude over the final Echo Papa Hotel 4000. So again, back to the CDU. And we have Echo Papa Hotel here, 4000 or above. Minimum descent altitude, this is a circling approach, so we'll go to the circling minimums here. For category D is 1740. So again, back to the MCP. And as you can see, 1740 set here. So now, for example, the uh, other pilot did not set the minimum, so we'll say 1740 set on my side. Again, that's going to be a gentle reminder for him. 
to make sure that the minimum is set uh, on the other side so we'll continue again now we set the minimums touchdown zone is 1169 we'll verify in the overhead panel so we'll go with 1200 MSA 3800 for the east sector 4800 for the west sector and in case of missed approach climbing left turn to 4000 outbound via Mike Whiskey Hotel view our radio 054 to bathroom intersection and hold so as you can see I'm skipping a few of the for example the viewer I've not mentioned it twice the DME it just make a smart abbreviated briefing abbreviate as much as you can and we'll be we'll be checking that in the in the uh, in the studio anyways so climbing left turn to 4000 outbound via mike whiskey hotel view our radio 054 to pattern and hold so again we'll go to the studio now and we'll verify it step by step and we have the pattern hold that pattern at 4000 and all the uh, radios now the notes in the simulator i'll skip this line as well again uh, you need to make sure that uh, your briefing is in line with the policy of your uh, training department again this is a simulator briefing and not a real life uh, briefing now in the uh, in the view here we'll go with the most details since this is a circling approach so we'll be talking about going to flaps 5 before entering the hold and we'll be holding at 4000 here over a Copaba hotel We'll go with the, once we are ready for the approach gear down flaps 15 prior to the final approach fix by at least two miles. And then we'll descend to 1800 on LNAV, VNAV and the VR as a backup. Once we have VNAV alt, we'll go alt hold or if we have alt hold, we'll set the missed approach altitude of 4000. And I'm going to uh, pre-select a heading to join a left downwind. So as soon as we set the missed approach altitude, I'm going to go heading select to a heading of 148 for about 30 seconds and then we'll go for a downwind heading of 135 and the downwind will go flaps 30 landing checklist and then a beam runway 3 to right we'll go with uh, 30 seconds and then we'll turn base to final once I turn to base or from base to final, I'll ask you to sync the uh, heading by to runway 3 to right and then to recycle flight directors. If you have to go missed any time on the downwind, it's going to be a left turn initially with the heading select and then we'll join LNAV. If you are on final, then it's going to be a right turn and then we'll select heading. So 4000 for Echo Papa Hotel checked in the CDU and Gabby to be 1840 or above. So as you can see, I'm just going back and forth just to make sure as I brief I check so gap here we have 1840 or above here nothing mentioned to nothing important to mention Papi on the left side and if you want to mention the visibility and the scenic just make sure that you have it or have uh, something above uh, the required and then we'll go to the airport diagram for the airport diagram the only thing I mention here is runway is 13,500 feet long for me personally in the, in the simulator I don't go more than that and then we'll go back to the airplane and we'll go, it's going to be a flaps 30 landing 143 plus 5148 is our target below max landing weight auto brake set the auto brake and auto brake chill any questions there's no questions then transfer the controls back and immediately request decent checklist followed by approach checklist and then once you are ready for the approach exit the hold and start the approach so this is the first approach that you'll be doing in the simulator the uh, circling usually and this is going to be the longest uh, briefing that you'll do after you do this approach usually you'll have a reject or uh, go around to join the missed approach and then do an RNAV approach and you have plenty of time to do the briefing for the RNAV approach it's going to be shorter than this after that you'll be doing the ILS uh, single engine approaches
we'll go to departure arrival arrival ILS runway 3 to right and most probably in the simulator you'll be doing uh, radar vectors so if you are already on radar vectors then go ahead and move the final approach fix on top extend the center line and again take a look at the waypoint sequence and the altitudes that you have here and in the approach chart so we have Peli and then the runway and for the mist 1800 the right turn 4000 to patch on and hold so we have Peli runway 1800 to go to pattern 4000 and hold over pattern so confirm confirmed and then execute ready for the briefing if you say yes then again we'll go with Moses Lake Washington ILS or localizer runway 3 to right 11-1 23 March 2018 checked localizer 109.5 so we'll set 109.5 so your side is set now the other side is not set so again as a gentle reminder 109.5 is set on my side and now the other pilot will go ahead and set his side as well final approach cost 324 and the same thing if the other pilot did not set it yet again go ahead with a gentle reminder Class level of Belly 2748. So we have 2748. Decision altitude 1367. So let's assume it, it was set already in the other side. Touchdown zone 1167. Again, we know it's uh, set already, but we need to double check. So we have 1200. MSA 3300 for the east, 4200 for the west. And now in the missed approach, climb to 1800, then climb right turn to 4000, outbound. Whiskey Mike, Mike Whiskey Hotel VR radio 054 to Batum and hold continue climb and hold to 4000 or as directed by ATC again we'll just a quick look at the missed approach procedure with the altitudes and the hold over pattern we'll skip the notes section here there is nothing much to, to mention since this is a radar vectors for the ILS and you can mention 2800 to intercept the uh, glide slope Papi on the left side and then the minimums for the ILS 1367 which is set and RBR 2400 or half a mile and then after that we'll go to the airport diagram runway is 13,503 feet long flaps 30 or correction that's going to be a single engine so it's going to be flaps 15 landing 150 plus 5155 below max landing weight auto brake and reuse whatever auto brake you like let's say two and then any questions so this is how i brief the approaches in the simulator i try to make it as quick as possible but in all cases i take my time so again once you finish with the with the with the briefing immediately request the decent checklist if it is not done already followed by the approach checklist and after that report ready for the approach and uh, again please make sure that you comply with your company policies and procedures or your training department in relation to uh, the setup and the briefing again uh, thank you for watching as always this is Abdelmati Asiri wish you a safe flying and smooth landing if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know.